Welcome to a lesson on isolated critical points and almost linear systems of nonlinear systems of ordinary differential equations. Recall if we are given x prime equals f of x comma y and y prime equals g of x comma y, the critical points are when both f of x comma y equals zero and g of x comma y equals zero. A critical point is isolated if it is the only critical point in some small neighborhood of the point. That is, if we zoom in far enough, it is the only critical point we see. If on the other hand, there would be a whole curve of critical points, then it would not be isolated. A system is almost linear at a critical point x sub zero comma y sub zero if the critical point is isolated and the Jacobian matrix at the point is invertible, meaning it has an inverse. Or equivalently, if the linearized system has an isolated critical point. In such a case, the nonlinear terms are very small and the system behaves like its linearization or at least if we are close to the critical point. Let's look at some examples. Back in examples 8.1.1 and 8.1.2, we considered the system x prime equals y and y prime equals negative x plus x squared, and the phase portrait is graphed below. Recall there were two critical points, zero comma zero and one comma zero. Both of these critical points are isolated. If we zoomed in around these critical points, we would not find any additional critical points near these two critical points. The system is also almost linear at the critical points as the Jacobian matrices at these two points are invertible, meaning they have inverses. I've copied and pasted the work below from our previous lesson where the Jacobian matrix for the given system is the two by two matrix with entries zero, one, negative one plus two x is zero. And then at the point zero comma zero, the Jacobian matrix has entries zero, one, negative one, zero which is invertible because the inverse does exist, which again indicates the system is almost linear at the point zero comma zero. Similarly, at the critical point one comma zero, the two by two Jacobian matrix has entries zero, one, one, zero, which is also invertible, which indicates the system is also almost linear at the point one comma zero. On the other hand, the system given by x prime equals x squared and y prime equals y squared in which the face portrait is graphed below, has an isolated critical point at zero comma zero. If we look at the face portrait at zero comma zero, if we zoomed in around this point, we would not find any additional critical points, which is why it's an isolated critical point. However, the Jacobian matrix for the given system has entries two x zero, zero, two y. Notice the Jacobian matrix would be the zero matrix at zero comma zero, which is not invertible, and therefore the system is not almost linear at the critical point. Even a worse example is the system given by x prime equals x and y prime equals x squared, where the face portrait is graphed below. Notice both x prime and y prime are zero when x is zero, which means y can take on any value. Analyzing the face portrait, notice any point on the y-axis would be a critical point, and therefore the system does not have isolated critical points. If we zoomed in on any point on the y-axis, we would find additional critical points along the y-axis where x equals zero. Also notice the Jacobian is not invertible when x equals zero. The Jacobian matrix is the two by two matrix with entries one, zero, two, x, zero. Notice when x is equal to zero, we have entries one, zero, 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 which is not invertible. Fortunately, most often critical points are isolated and the system is almost linear at the critical points. So if we learn what happens there, we will have figured out the majority of situations that arise in applications. I hope you found this helpful.